Here we're going to take a closer look at finding the appropriate Z alpha over 2 value for a confidence interval. Some students have troubles with this, so let's look at a couple of quick examples. So suppose we use, wish to use our normal confidence interval formula for uh, sampling from a normally distributed population where sigma is known to get our 1 minus alpha times 100% confidence interval for mu. And our objective here is to find the appropriate Z alpha over 2 values. So we've looked at this previously. We've previously defined Z alpha over 2 to be the value of a standard normal random variable such that the area to the right is alpha over 2. So if we drew a picture like this, 0 in the middle for a standard normal random variable, and we want this middle area here to be our 1 minus alpha, that's what we're getting at. That middle area is going to be the 1 minus alpha for our confidence interval. The remaining bit, alpha, is split up evenly into the two tails, alpha over 2 and alpha over 2. And this value here we're calling z sub alpha over 2. And that's what we want to find. That's what this video is about. So, let's look at a couple examples. What is the appropriate Z value for a 95% confidence interval? Well, I draw my picture. And I put my middle stuff being at confidence level. So this is 0.95. And the remaining 5% is split up evenly into the two tails. So this is 0 0.025 and 0 0.025. And this value here is my Z point, or 0 0.0. 25. And that's the Z value that I want. Now I can't just go running off to a table now. Really tempting, I know. Go running off to a table, ah, look at 0.95. Now you don't have to get it in the proper format. And my tables and the computer give area to the left. So when I look up Z 0.025, I'm going to have to find that the proper way. I know this area out here is 0 0.025. And that means this remaining area to the left has to be 1 minus 0 0.025, which is 0 0.975. And that is how computers and tables give you the value. So let's go to a computer first of all. Here we've got the computer package R. And there's a very simple command to get us those values. If we want the Z value with 0 0.975 to the left, we simply say QNORM 0.975. Give me the Z value with 0 0.975 of an area to the left. And that's 1.959964, which looks an awful lot like the 1.96 that we use for 95% intervals. Now let's go look at the table version. So this table is set up in a very similar way to the computer. We've got here this area to the left, which is what we want. And we need that area to the left to be 0.975. Now don't be the person that walks over here and starts going 0.9 and walking along there, okay? Don't be that. We're not going here because that's a Z value. We want this area to the left to be 0 0.975. That's what we're looking for. And areas are found in here. So we're going to walk in here. Oh, lo and behold, look what we have here. 0.975. That's pretty darn close to what we're looking for, the 0.975. So we walk over here and our Z value corresponding to that is 1.96. So the Z value that makes that happen is 1.96. And that is our appropriate value. Oh, isn't that interesting? Let's go back and do another one. What is the appropriate Z value for a 75% confidence interval? Well, the same logic here. Up goes our picture. We need 75% in the middle. We need this middle area here to be 0 0.75. And we're splitting up the remaining part, the remaining 25% into the two tails evenly. So 0.25 over 2 leaves us 0 0.125. And this leaves us 0 0.125. And this Z value here we call Z0.125. And this is what we want to find. But we don't go running off to the table just yet because that doesn't look quite like what we need. Z at 0.125 giving us 0.125 out here. We need the area to the left simply because that's how the computers and the tables are set up. So this is 1 minus 0.125. And that is going to be 0 0.875. And so let's go find that. So on the computer here, if I want my appropriate Z value for a 75% interval, I have to just use my QNORM 0.875 after drawing my picture and figuring that out. And it's going to be about 1.15. Wow, that's great. That's pretty easy. Now let's look at the table. If we were to find that corresponding value from the table, we would say we need this area to be... 0 0.875.
Now again, don't be doing this. Don't go over here. That's an area. It's not a value of Z. So we walk down in here and we get as close as we can to 0.875. Where would that be? Oh, that's looking awfully close. And that's 1.15. 1.15. So 1.15 is our appropriate Z value for a 75% confidence interval.